Okay, sorry, they uh, I had to connect those videos together. Um, somebody was trying to call. <clears throat> but yeah, these grommets are toasted. They're done. Uh, they're cracking, they're broken. Still definitely stringable, but just the inside, everything else is plastic, but these six in the neck of the racket are much more towards rubber, probably rubber. And I'm now struggling to get the string through. As you, as you can probably see, let's see, let's see. Oh dear me, this is not looking good. Wow. But why? Why can we not get through? Okay, well, if they all goes through, that means the string should be able to go through. There we go, and it's through now. This is what happens with the older rackets. Uh, Yonex did always have the, the rubber um, grommets, at least on the inner part, because the outside part in here is plastic. Um, however, <clears throat> yeah. However, you can see that that's rubber, and of course the rubber has disintegrated now pretty much. Alright guys, stringing symmetrically always, as you may have seen already uh, from other videos or even now. I haven't gone more than three to each side. I went three, three, and then another three, which gives me six to that side. So now we're going to do exactly the same to this side. Um, Sixth main. Today, guys, is the twenty fifth of March. 2024 last main guys on this side i've upped my tension 15 percent recommendation is 15 to 20 percent would it suggest lower than 15 or higher than 20 in my opinion but yeah i haven't seen one of these rackets in, uh, in a while to be honest in a quite some time most people tend you know most keen tennis players do tend to go with the trends and and the upgrades every few years at least i would say um but you have people that don't for either wanting not to spend the money or just happier with the rackets they they have already uh, generally i would say is people that that don't really play very often uh, this client has brought two tennis rackets and another, actually the other one, the other tennis rackets, a BLX. Um, and this, and he's also brought three squash rackets. Um, I think originally he was only going to bring squash and then he thought, well, I might as well string my tennis rackets as well. Which is good for us. Of course. Um, yeah. Oh, these legs have been walking around all of London today, sorting out a few things. Three, four, five, six, seven, and a half. Um, it's just uh, picking up and dropping off rackets in Mayfair and uh, 
our reception at 69 Old Broad Street, which is now pretty much being taken down. We've got the movers or removers in there, moving everything out, desks, it's all going. Um, we're having, we're being forced to find a new location, make their end. We were given notice the same day, 1st of, uh, of March in the city and in, the, and in Mayfair. Hopefully we're all, all back and uh, up and running in no time. Hopefully there's no real gaps. Never has been before when we have had to deal with moving. Um, but let's see, let's see. I'm actually not that fussed if we do close down for a few days. Uh, I feel like it's been six years and I, I can't really say that I haven't, well, I guess when I'm in Spain, I'm not stringing all that much just for myself and a few buddies, but I am answering the phone, doing all the admin, invoicing, you name it. So I can't say, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the, the burn a little bit these days, uh, especially with all these videos I've been making as well. So I will definitely pause over the Easter to try to take some time off and enjoy my life with my family, which is the most important thing, of course. Family life, if you have a family of your own, or even if not, your own parents, siblings, whoever that might be, cousins, etc. This string sticks so much sometimes. <sighs> I love this string though. It's our best multi-filament seller by miles. People want a good string for a good price. And I find that a lot of people actually aren't big fans of fraying, fraying lots of fraying in the multi-filament strings. As a Wilson XT Power, X1 Bi phase, and so on and so on. Right guys, as you can probably notice already, if you're asking yourself, why am I weaving another string when I've got one to pull? It's a system that is called, or, or a method of stringing, or a way of stringing, that is called one in front. I guess you could call it one ahead as well. Same, same, different wording. And there you have it. And then, when you pull the string, guys, when you're physically, the string is being pulled, should always support it with your left or right hand, depending which way around the racket is facing. In this case, my left hand. Just a little bit of a support so my string doesn't loop down. I don't know if you guys noticed, but especially if you're not a very experienced stringer, you'll have the tendency, which is very normal, completely common. Even with stringers that have more experience, they don't seem to uh, straighten up their strings which to me indicates a little bit of unprofessional, a bit of an unprofessional job. Um, if you're someone who really cares about how your finishing product looks, then you need to straighten up your strings, but you want to avoid that at the same time. So if you move your strings a lot, if you're having a lot of loops downwards, you will have to, uh, you will need to, uh, you will lose tension. So when you're moving all those strings around when you finish your stringing job, uh, that can affect the tension. It will affect the tension. So that's why I highly, highly, highly recommend that you support your string, push it upwards slightly if need be. But normally, if you just just hold it, just ever so slightly hold it, keep it, keep it in line with your grommets. Your grommets obviously are in imaginary line, let's say, along following the two grommets that you're connecting with from side to side. So the straighter your strings come out, the better that is for everybody, including yourself as a stringer. And then your client will benefit that the strings, they haven't asked for a certain tension and then it loses tension once you've done, even if you've done a decent job, you know, stringing. But you want to really keep an eye on that. Very, very little important. 
uh, detail. I always push my string up, keep it out of the way as well. Uh, and it tends to um, help with the straightening of it or not letting it at least fall further down than necessary. So I just, you can see my left hand is automatically always on there. Rackets that I pick up today, four, six so far. So I picked up six before 12 30 a.m. And then, of course, my receptions are open for another four hours, uh, three hours even. It's now approaching, it's just gone 11 past two, two 11 p.m. UK London time. <clears throat> slept only five hours last night but I don't feel that bad but I do feel walking all that walking I just did around uh, city center and stuff getting on trains had a meeting in Mayfair to see if we if I can agree with a, a little gym called well I'll, I'll announce that when the time is right it's a gym in Mayfair that actually have a squash court um, so that would work really well for us seeing that they're affiliated uh, to racket sports apart from being a gym, which is their main bread and butter. That's their, their main business, of course. Just bumped into an old friend who works there as well. Uh, so they offer a whole bunch of treatment therapies and physio and all that kind of cool stuff. I've got a swimming pool. It's, it's a very nice, uh, it is kind of exclusive, uh, but it's not super, super, super exclusive, if that makes sense. But Mayfair, yeah, everything in Mayfair, <coughs> excuse me, is generally quite top end. But saying that, the membership that the membership they offer is uh, 120 pounds, 119 pounds a month, I think, which includes uh, being a member of the squash court, which I think you have to pay eight pounds for um, using the squash court. If you're not a member, then it's they do have a pay and play system, which is 24 pounds, I believe they said. But yeah, very nice little place which we've stumbled across on, on Google. So looking forward for them uh, to give me a reply ASAP. Don't have much, don't have all that much time. So today, this is only my second racket today. I would normally be on my seventh or eighth. Oh God knows, ninth, tenth, who knows. Depending how many phone calls, emails, text messages I never need to reply to. Easter's uh, approaching quite quick. Normally on a Monday, the phone is very busy the time of year. However, it's been the, uh, the quite the opposite. I've had to text a lot of clients to come and please pick up the racket before we make our move. We don't want to be carrying around everybody's rackets and there's a few people that have left their rackets now. Two, three, four weeks. <clears throat> a bit ridiculous. I actually sold somebody a racket, I think, and they still haven't gone to collect it. I mean, it's been there for like three weeks. I can't believe people spend. And he was uh, he needed it quick as well. I need my, I need a racket real quick. Spent two hundred odd pounds. Still sat there like. Ugh. Coming up to the last cross, guys. Up your attention. <clears throat> but yeah, very much looking forward to my little holiday coming up now. So guys, always up in your attention, 15 to 20%, regardless of where your last pull is, or where your, your finishing knot might be. Question is, 
we go over here. We go here. I didn't quite tight. Let's see. Hmm. It's the same pretty much distance away. I think it's yeah, it's much easier here. <coughs> the grommet is slightly enlarged as well, it's bigger than the other ones. <clears throat> so that probably just indicates that's where we're going with our knot. I find myself quite a bit of string, which I don't like. <clears throat> Get rid of a bit of that string. Make it shorter, maneuver, more maneuverable. Right, guys, Parnell knot. As always, I'll only use Parnell knot unless circumstances don't allow. And there you go, guys. Another one for the YouTube books. Racket should just pop off the machine very easily, guys. My strings, I'm going to straight, straighten up my strings, but the, I have to say, it's a very straight, minimal movement here. Um, which is always a good thing. The less I move my strings, like I say, the less tension that will uh, be lost. All right, guys. Nice and tight for uh, 55 pounds of tension on the on these rackets there you have it guys nice clean finish right i didn't say at the beginning actually this is the uh i mean you may have noticed though the yonex rds double one double oh one double oh one that's three so zero zero one <laughs> so yonex rds zero zero one all right guys thanks for tuning in hopefully there was some uh, decent information for you guys there and um thanks for uh Thanks for the support, as always, if you are a subscriber. Um, till the next racket, guys. Take care of yourselves. Happy stringing. Bye-bye.